Hello everyone. Uh, before we get into the unboxing for today, I just wanted to go over some data from the Promoted Closet beta program that I've been participating in. Uh, today is actually day eight of that, so I just wanted to talk about that for a few minutes. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Thanks to everybody who came and watched the Thread Up name brand handbag collaboration last night. We did have seven creators opening the box, and three of them are running giveaways. So if you did miss any of the videos, make sure you go back and watch. Um, for the first time in a collaboration, I would say all of the boxes were really, really good and pretty comparable. So there was definitely not a clear winner or a clear loser. So I was really happy everyone got a good box. So as I mentioned last week, I was invited to the Promoted Closet beta program for a two week free trial. And based on my closet size, they allotted $70 uh, that it would cost per week based on the amount of clicks from the promoted listings. So I just wanted to go over the results from the first week. Um, like I said, I'm day eight uh, in, or yeah, day eight I'm at right now. So um, I did make 21 sales during the period so far, but only four of the sales were from the promoted listings. And it did generate $230 in gross sales, not including the Poshmark fees or cost of goods. And I would have had to spend $83 to make those sales if I was not in the free trial. Um, these are three of the listings that sold. Um, the other one I just got paid for, so I guess it dropped off. But it was another watch that sold full price for $75. The men's fossil watch that you see there, that was actually part of a three-item bundle. So the sale price on that is not completely accurate. Um, but the other two items, you know, are things I've had listed for quite a while. So I was happy to move those, but they did go on offer. So it was not a full price sale. But, you know, based on only four of the items out of the 21 being the promoted listings, I don't think this is a real good value based on spending $83. So um, let me know if uh, this is comparable to the results that you've seen by using the uh, program um, or if mine seem, you know, far off from what you've experienced. But I will keep you updated on the second week um, once I have all of that data. So I just want to share that update and then we will move on with the unboxing for tonight. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay if you're new here. I do sell part-time on Poshmark and The Real Real and I post mystery unboxing videos on Mondays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you do enjoy that type of content, I would love to have you subscribe and don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the video. So I am here today with another Thread Up unboxing and it is a designer box. I did just get this one in the mail. Um, I ordered it last week and it came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I was able to use a $20 uh, credit for my reward points towards the total, so that was good. Um, I did order it on November 7th. These generally run $140 plus tax and then $9.99 shipping. So the credit does help out a little bit. And the box does have some weight to it, and I'm seeing some clothing on the top. So let's go ahead and take a look. First up, we have a dress, and it's a very nice blue knit material. It is St. John, and it's a size six, made in the USA. There's the tag there. So it is a sleeveless, and then it does drop in the back a little bit with a zip closure in the back. So this is the typical St. John fabric, this knit material. It is rayon, wool, and polyamide. It's dry clean only. And a really nice color. I don't see 
really any signs of wear to it that's jumping out. So that's very nice. St. John doesn't go for the most, but it usually sells fairly quickly. There is a little bit of a pole on the back. I will try to trim that, but otherwise it looks pretty good. And next up we have some kind of scarf or something. Let's see here. Actually a dress. This is a Derek Lamb 10 Crosby. And then it does have a kind of a sweater material on the bottom, ribbed, and then a fringe detail. And it's on this side. So I, I'm guessing this is the front with the fringe and then that ribbing, if you can see it. So this is a size medium, made in China. And then the um, fringe goes along the bottom too with a slit. So it's very cute, nice for fall and winter. And just trying to see if there's a material in there. I'm not seeing one, I'll have to hunt around for that, but it feels like it's probably, um, you know, like an acrylic wool blend or something. This brand does not resell for a lot, but it's very cute. And I will see if I might be able to get a stock photo for that to help it sell a little better. Um, but it looks like it's in good condition. And next up we have a jacket. This is really soft. This is Marc Jacobs in a size small. Looks like it's pretty generously sized for a small. It is a button up striped blue and white and there might be a little spot on it hopefully i can get that out unless this is maybe a men's small but it definitely seems like it's a generous size and the material is very nice um, it is just 100 percent cotton but it, it feels very soft so I don't know how much that might resell for. It is the full Marc Jacobs, which is good. Um, but it looks like it's in good condition. I will try to wash that and get the stain out. And next we have some very beat up Manolo Blahniks. I think I've gotten this exact style before in a Tiffany blue and they had a lot of the same issues. Um, a lot of discoloration and markings on there. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything to get those cleaned up, um, which is unfortunate because they're a very cute style. They're like a Mary Jane with a little buckle there. And they are a size 40. So a lot of wear at the bottoms as well. So really somebody would probably need to dye those a different color to um, really assist it with anything with these because they're pretty trashed. Um, but you know, the structure of the shoe is good. The heels and everything look nice. So th those are kind of a bummer. Next, we might have something a little better here. We do have a jacket. And this is Burberry. A really cute light green. And I've never gotten this style of a jacket before. It is vintage, um, it says the Burberry's on it. And we may have a little bit of staining on the back. So I'll have to look into that. Um, we, the inside has a Novichok material. Zipper runs very well. It is a size small, it is 100% cotton, and then the lining is cotton and polyester, and it is dry clean only, made in Thailand. So, very cute, lightweight coat, and it does have a removable hood. Um, so there is a tear also along the hood. So that is something that, you know, could be fixed. It just really needs a stitch. Um, 
to get that taken care of. That's not the end of the world there. Um, otherwise, it's a nice jacket, just a couple spots and then that hole, but I'm not seeing. Um, there actually is quite a bit of staining over here. So I probably still will wash this, even though it says dry clean only. Um, being that it's cotton, I don't think it's going to hurt it. So I'll do some work on that and see if I can get it cleaned up. I didn't see all that discoloration at first, but it looks like it went swimming in some coffee or something like that. So I think that has potential. I, it should clean up okay. And next we have a pair of Ferragamos and these are a patent leather slip on with a square toe. Very cute with the bow. And these are a seven and a half double A. So um, on the extra narrow side, there is a little scuff mark there, but not too bad. I can probably get that wiped out. These look like they're probably vintage, but um, not bad. They're a very cute style. And last up, we have a pair of sandals. These are a 41 and they're Alexander Wang, I believe. Yes. So they are a suede and then they have this netting on them. And then they buckle on the ankle, kind of a gladiator sandal. There are some toe marks on there on the suede and they probably need to be resold at some point, but they're not in bad condition. So these are actually pretty nice. Different style, um, very cute. And a great size, so not bad. So this box was a little bit rough. Um, definitely these are the best shoes that Alexander Wang. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna be able to do with these. So we have the Manolo Blahniks, the Ferragamos, which are cute. We had the Alexander Wangs, the Marc Jacobs jacket that does have a stain on it. The Burberry's coat, Definitely needs a cleaning. So that was four, five with the Alexander Wang. Six, we had the Derek Lamb 10 Crosby dress. And last up was the St. John. So this was uh, definitely a rough box. I think I should be able to make my money back, um, but it's definitely gonna take a little bit of work to get some of the items into shape to list. So I'm glad on this one I had that $20 credit. It certainly helps. Um, not my best one by far, but, you know, still some potential here. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you had a favorite piece. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, this video is coming out Monday, the Monday before. So I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you back soon. Take care.